We've raised a million dollars toward luminosity this year, but the budget is $1.4 million. It left us $400,000 gap to fill. So now, for the first time, you're going to have to pay to attend this year's Luminosity Show, and other changes are coming as well. This August, 30,000 people will pack Washington Park. The popular light and music show will have more shows, but smaller crowds. Such a huge hit last year. Last year, crowds hit 40,000. WLWT News host John London is here now to explain the thinking behind the crowd change and the new admission price. Hi, John. Well, you know, Sheree, popularity can have its downsides at times. There's a lot to love. Love about luminosity, as you say, but in order to keep the backdrop, the 3D projection image canvas in front of Iconic Music Hall, you have to limit the size of those doing the loving. Some growing pains for this signature summer event managed growth in its third installment. Capacity for the viewing lawn will be roughly reduced by half. The price of admission will zoom from zero to 15 on the low end, 20 on the high. Caleb Oaksnader lives around here with his Greyhound Robin. Views the changes as part of the evolution of the event. I understand that a lot of people are probably frustrated because it's not free anymore, but um, I think charging at least a, a moderate amount for the tickets, which I think it's like $12 or something like that, um, is reasonable, and especially for the safety and security of everybody, I think it makes sense. The Pops will add an extra night of performance this time. That will help balance the new ticket limit of $6,000 per night as opposed to $12,500. You're limited by the size of the park. We understand that. The orchestra's spokesman detailed the adjustments to city lawmakers this morning, noting the gap in fundraising for a show that costs $1.4 million to put on. If you take out all of the extraordinary philanthropy, all of those donors, all of the, uh, the companies and foundations that make Luminosity possible, the rest of us would pay $53 a ticket to attend Luminosity. It's $15 to $20 because of that extraordinary uh, support the event still gets. August 5 is the dress rehearsal. The next four nights, the real thing. Limit four tickets to a household. Umbrella strollers will require their own ticket. That's how precious Luminosity viewing space has become. The CSO says it's not on a profit mission, merely trying to cover costs. I think so. I think $15, $20 is not too bad if, you know, for how cool an event people say it is. And you can register online for 15, 18, and $20 tickets through May 16th. The only free tickets will be the 3,000 distributed to needy families. Even orchestra spouses, Sheree, if they plan to attend, will need a price ticket. Wow, that is a hot ticket item. All right, John, thank you. By the way, no coolers, no blankets, no captain's chairs this time either. Organizers say those things simply take up too much room for the amount of available space.